Don't you have work to do? Uh, actually, no. It's Sunday. Don't you have work to do? <laughs> this is why I don't go into retail. Because <laughs> you have to work on Sundays. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, Clint. I'm not laughing at you. Actually, I am. Hey, give me something good. Uh, um, um, um. Oh, it's Sunday, isn't it? Wow! Whoa! Gonzo, what are you doing? Get uh, get out of my way. How did you get here? Did, LG Funton, did you do that? You pranked me, didn't you? He's so mad about those uh, those jokes, those beer jokes. Well, tell you what. I'm putting Gonzo right back next to you. Anyway, welcome back, everybody. To Stardew Valley. Punch Wood, the farmer here. Did we level up yet? We did. We're a sod buster now. <laughs> We're gonna go bust some sods. All right, that sounds like fun, I suppose. Although it's Sunday... The 21st of fall, so it's the day of rest. I don't want to work too hard busting sods. So let's check the weather, see what it's going to be like tomorrow. Clear and sunny all day. Today's supposed to be pretty sunny too, unfortunately. I want rain. Spirits are annoyed, and it looks like we have a new episode of Queen O' Sauce. Glazed yams. It's yam season, and what better way to enjoy these delightful tubers than by slathering them in sweet, sticky glaze. You'll need a nice, ripe yam and a whole bunch of sugar. Now here's how you do it. And there we go, we learned... How to cook glazed yams. Around here we call them candied yams. And that was my mom's specialty. Uh, thanks for bringing that up. <laughs> anyway, 7.30 in the morning. Um, yeah, let's get the mail. And then I'm going to skip all the chores. Like I said, it's Sunday. I'm not working too hard on the farm today. This is from Caroline. Probably because we just uh, gave her a birthday gift yesterday. So she's sending us a recipe. That's nice. I mean, not a birthday gift. We gave her a pumpkin so she could carve it with uh, her daughter, Abigail, right? So, dear Punchwood, nothing is more satisfying than cooking with fresh vegetables from your own garden. I've enclosed a recipe to help you out. Take care, Caroline. Parsnip soup, lovely indeed. I don't have a kitchen, but thanks anyway. Uh, okay, let us throw some stuff here. And I'm going to get started here, guys. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Stop. Too early for that nonsense. Uh, let's get some iron going. So I'm not going to do the watering of the crops, but I am going to... Well, i got to go let the chickens out. And then I'll get my stuff organized here because I have a bunch of stuff to bring over to Clint's. Come on out, ladies. Hot two, hot two. We have a new lady inside here, in fact. Come on, dilly, dally, dotty, let's go. Oh, what's up with the chickens? Is You guys okay? Fine, you don't want to come out. Then I'll just take your eggs and run. Let's go chuck them in the machine over here. Oh, there goes Dottie. Let's go see if, if they're happy. How you doing? Dottie looks fine. Oh, not so good. And Dally looks fine, but oh, we have a one and a half heart from Dally. I'm sorry, was, was I in your way? <laughs> and Dilly is only one heart. Huh. Anyway, all right. So yeah, let me just get organized, guys, and then we're going to head out early in the morning. I have to check the, um, I want to go check the calendar because I think today is birthday. Someone has a birthday today, but I'm not sure who it is. I forget. So I want to run to town real quick and and double check, and then uh, and then we'll figure out what we're gonna do for the rest of the day. So stay tuned. I'll be right back. Don't go away. All right, guys. It's ten o'clock in the morning, and we're just about ready to head out. However, I want to show you something. We learned this recipe yesterday after leveling up. Right? Our was it farming? I think it was farming. So now we have a keg that we can make. And all we need to do is place fruit or vegetable in here. Eventually, it will turn into a beverage. Wow, if making beers is only that easy <laughs> in real life. And you know what? We have everything we need to make this with the exception of the oak resin. However, we have a tapper on an oak tree. That's the oak tree right there. And here's the other recipe that we learned. It's oil maker. And this makes gourmet truffle oil. I think we need a truffle to make truffle oil, so I'm not going to bother with that. But that keg... Got my eyes on it. All right, let's go. Let's ride, bud. Ride like the wind. And just ignore everything. Ignore it all. I don't want to mess with anything right now. I want to get to town. Here we go. 1020. Plenty of time. Got to check that calendar. I know there's a birthday today. I just forget who. Oh, we have a help wanted sign, too, here. Let's check that out. Uh, oh, well, this is a calendar. It's Robin's birthday. Oh, good. Because I wanted to go up there and visit her. She's the carpenter. And I wanted to check on the prices of the uh the house upgrade and this is from sam need an eggplant for a project i'm working on sam 180 gold on delivery and it makes sam happy we know we have eggplants in fact i i saw some had uh, had sprouted up out of the ground today so we'll go grab one of those for old sammy boy and uh who's this jody i'm just gonna say hi hi jody 
When you become a parent, you have to leave your old lifestyle behind. What do we have here with her three? Oh, yeah, well, uh, I'm not a parent yet, but I, I that's what I heard from you. Maybe that's not entirely true, but if you're not careful, it will happen. Oh, right, I mean, yeah, I know it's not true. It could be, though, for some people. Anyway, goodbye. Let's get over to Clint's. Oh, we can't go that way. That was my shortcut from the past, but no, it doesn't, but doesn't fit that way. Hey, Louie, I can't cut through your backyard anymore because my horse is too big. <laughs> Are you doing your best on the farm, Punchwood? You'll have to accomplish things in many areas if you want to become a well-rounded citizen. Well, thanks, Louie, for the life advice. I'm getting lots of life advice today, and I was hitting the wrong button. Anyway, you're free to go. Blocking him with my horse. Where's he going? I've never seen him go south before. He usually goes up to the north and hangs out by the uh, by the tree by Doc Harvey's. Oh, wait. No, no. Wrong place. We've got to go see Clint. This is great. i got, like, all day ahead of me. There's no rushing to the um, stores before they close. <laughs> Hey, Clint, how we doing, buddy? Let me just come around and say hi. Usually get a better, uh, better price. Hey, don't you have work to do? Uh, actually, no. It's Sunday. Don't you have work to do? <laughs> this is why I don't go into retail. Because <laughs> you have to work on Sundays. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, Clint. I'm not laughing at you. Actually, I am. Hey, give me something good. I don't want clay. Ooh, what's that? That's pretty. It's Aaronite. Aaronite. Air, whatever it is, just get me, get, what's that, rocks, yeah. I thought that was going to be special because it was one of them Omni Stones. Anyway, that Aaronite thing is pretty cool. Thanks very much. We'll see you around. Oh, by the way, hold up. How much would it cost me for a steel pickaxe? Ooh, 5,000 gold. Well, all right, let me, let me sleep on it, Clint. I don't have that kind of cat. Well, actually, I do, but uh, I need it for something else. Bye. All right, let's go bring this uh, Aaronite over to Gunther. Gunny, buddy, how you doing? I got something for you, Gunny. You don't mind if I call you Gunny, do you? Good. Here, take that and give me something. What? Gunny? Mm. It doesn't seem like you have anything to donate to the museum. Better get out there and do some treasure hunting, huh? Dude, I've given you like seven things straight and you've given me nothing. Oh, <laughs> oh that guy. Get out of the way, birds. I'm in a bad mood now. All right, let's go over to the crazy uh, cellar lady. It's Sunday. Oh, hey, Doc. How we doing? Say hi to the Doc. What's up? Hmm, I'm struggling to make ends meet. I don't have enough patience. Mama always said, patience is a virtue. But I think you're talking about something else. Yeah, you can go. You don't think that was funny? <laughs> hey, Leo. There's a lot of good places to walk around here. Indeed. It feels good to stretch your legs. You want to stretch my legs? Wait a minute. Your legs. Oh, I'm, I'm confused. Anyway, all right, go stretch them. Stretch them, girl, stretch them. Now, I got to get over to, um, yeah, that uh, the traveling merchant person. I want to buy a really nice gift for Robin, and then we'll get on up there real quick if we can. Huh? What's this? It's Haley hanging out with the cows. Oh, she's got a camera. <laughs> she's taking pictures. Oh, she's just taking a picture of us. Hi, Haley. Oh, Punchwood. What's up? The lighting is so nice right now. I had to come out and take some nature shots. Yes, you did. Can I see them? I've been trying to connect with the outdoors a little more. I want to know what it's like being a farmer. It's a way of life I've never really thought about. Well, until now. Is she blushing? Are you blushing, Haley? <laughs> Haley, what does this mean? Uh, huh, these cows are so cute. Hey, don't change the subject. Are you blushing? She's blushing. Hey, I have an idea. Oh, boy. All right, spit it out. What's that? Oh, it's a camera. Let's take some pictures with these cows. You can show me how to approach one. I'll just set it to shoot on a timer. Okay, do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That sounds like fun. All right, so, well, we got to climb the fence. Oh, here we go. I think we're climbing the fence. Oh, look at this. This is great. Look at her. Hey, listen, no gang signs, lady. Put those fingers down. Oh, that's adorable. You know, deep down, I think this girl, she's very compassionate. Look at her. Big smile on her face. I've never seen you smile so... Uh-oh, that's gonna hurt. That was a nice little montage. Yeah! Ooh, you're a little dirty. Oh, you dirty girl. <laughs> that was fun, Punchwood, and these photos are hilarious. Yes, they are. I'm gonna go home and, like, take a shower now. Yeah, I think you should. You kind of smell like cow poop. Anyway, all right, we'll uh, we'll catch up with her later. That was really cool. It was interesting. Oh, by the way, hold up. 
So check this out, guys. Punchwood has eight hearts with Haley. That's amazing. Who would have thunk it, right? Abigail is gaining. She's um, tied up with Penny, and Leah's falling way behind. Yeah, interesting. Anyway, so these last two hearts are shaded because Punchwood needs to make a decision which one of these lovely ladies he's going to um, settle down with. And when that happens, he has to buy them a special gift, and then those hearts open up or something like that, as far as I know. So anyway, that that's that. Let's get moving. And are those wormies? Those are wormies. Let's get them. Let's get them. They were hard to see in there. Oh, a chewing stick? Ew. Gunther can tell. Oh, it's for Gunther. Good. Good. I can't wait to go visit that rascal again. Yeah, I did some treasure hunting. That. Hey, look, it's Jazz. One, two, three, four. Oh, no, I messed up again. What, what's, what you doing? One, two, three, four. Oh, no, I messed up. Okay, I'll leave you to it. I'm sorry. I think I'm distracting her. All right, here's the traveling merchant woman. And what you got? I need a nice gift for a carpenter. A tulip. Algae soup, basic fertilizer, radish, fertilizer, crab, largemouth bass, fertilizer, cave carrot, pale broth, a winter table. Look at this, guys. She's trying to push the algae soup on me, but I really don't think that's what I need. I'll take the tulip. <laughs> All right, 250. That's a lovely gift. Now we're going to cut back through my property. And then, uh, although, should we go drop this off quick? We just got to get up to um, Robin's before she closes, which is like five. Oh, yeah, I want to drop off this chewing stick. Oh, it's Abigail. Hello, Abby. Hmm. What should I do tonight? Seven hearts with Abby. Let's see if we can get up to eight. Yes. What is it? Uh, you should do anything you want. In fact, I'd just play video games all night long, and then I'll see you later. I gotta run. Oh, her mother's gonna hate me. Hi, Evelyn. Sorry about your super cucumber. I used it to get Gonzo. <laughs> that did not come out right. Okay, here we are. We made it. Gunny, I'm back! Guess what I got? I went treasure hunting, just like you said. And I got you a chewing stick. Here, feel free. Do you want to chew on it? That's fine. I'll put it over here away from the scroll, because I think I want to get some more scrolls. Oh my gosh, I'm going to jump over this counter and choke you, son. I'm coming now. Oh, no, you got books blocking me. <laughs> he did this by design, didn't he? Oh, you scoundrel. I wasted all that time. Oh, I don't like him anymore. Hi, Leah. Catch a big one. All right, I can't stop for anybody right now. Oh, fishing. Ooh. Uh, I got to get up to Robin's right now. I got to give her this gift. And I want to check the prices. Hi, Caroline. I'll be back in a minute. No distractions. No distractions, bud. Fly, my friend. Fly. Uh-oh. 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 Oh, you're still here. Hey, don't move. Wait, stay. I got something for you, Robin. Happy birthday! It's better than algae soup, right? You remembered my birthday! Thank you, this is great! Six hearts with... I mean, I'm glad you like it. Thanks very much. Now, oh, let me, coming around, I want to talk to you about business now. Our pleasure is done, let's talk business. I want you to upgrade my house. Well, not yet, I want to see how much it's going to cost me. 10k, 450 pieces of wood. Yes, I'm very interested, I just don't have the cash. I mean, the uh, the wood. So I gotta go get, get more wood, but I'll be back. And while we're here, how about if we... Um, let me shop. See what you got. Let's spend some money here. Oh, topiary tree. What is that? It can be placed inside my house. That's kind of nice. Oh, red couch. Ooh. Ceramic pillar. Mahogany bench. Calendar. I really want that calendar. I'm not paying two grand for a piece of paper. Oh, a brazier recipe. A wooden razor recipe. Lamp post. Wait, really? We can do lamp posts? Ooh, 500. Blueprints for crafting a wood lamp post. Iron lamp post. Wood floor recipe. Stone floor. Stepping stone. Straw floor. Crystal crystal path. Okay, I want to get one of these lamps, I think. How about a wood lamp post? Or the brazier. What do you recommend, Robin? The lamp post or the brazier? Lamp post, right? Of course you do, because it's more expensive. Oh. Oh, you only have one? Wait, where'd it go? Oh, it's a it's a recipe. Right, right, right. My bad. And how about, you know what? I, I might as well get that one too while we're, while we're at it. 250? Sure, whatever. All right, so now I get two two lights. Great, I can put some light around the farm. Thanks very much. Pleasure doing business with you. Happy birthday. Goodbye. Okay. Let's get down to that fishing hole. Maybe it's still there. And don't forget, we still have all the farm and stuff to do. <laughs> Hi, Caroline. Quick stop. Hi. 
Today, I'm just going to relax and think positively. That's a good idea. Oh, by the way, thanks for that recipe. I really appreciate it. Do you ever take a day off? Yeah, today, Sunday. <laughs> thanks for asking. Bye. Hey, Alex. Bye, Alex. Oh, look at this, Maru and Penny. Hi, ladies. I've been trying to keep our place clean, but it always gets messy again. Oh, yeah, I've, I've heard. I'm sorry about that. It's hard to run a household all by yourself. Uh, I, I would imagine it is. Anyway, Maru, how you doing? Hey, here's to another good week. Toast. <laughs> She's always so happy. You're always so happy, Maru. What a contrast between her and Penny. I just feel bad for Penny. Oh, man, I don't know. Hi, Marnie. Hey there, it's good to see you. Wow, in, in good spirits today, are you? Heading to the bar, go see uh, Louie? Feel free to visit us anytime you please. All right, will do. Have one on me. Actually, maybe they'll all have one on me once I get my beer brewing. Home again, home again, jiggity jig. All right, bud, let's go put you away. Oh, the mayonnaise is up. Oh, bud, look, it's the resin. Oak resin, sweetness, grab it, grab it. Oh, yeah, we can make a keg. <laughs> okay, awesome. But hold on, let's close up the chickens. Good night, girls. And grab the mayonnaise. And then I'm going to take care of all the chores before I forget. Look at this. The jellies are up. The irons is up. Torches is up. Oh, man, what a, what a harvest. And I got yeah, I got to harvest all that and get to watering. So uh, no, hold on, I'll be right back. Don't go away. <laughs> all right, guys, it's now past 11 p.m. And all the farming chores have been completed. So let's go ahead and make this keg we got everything we need oh that's so awesome and i'm going to make wooden braziers as well so the lamp post unfortunately requires battery packs which we do not have any um because we have to uh we have to wait for our lightning rods to get struck by lightning first and then we'll get battery packs so we're gonna wait for that so in the meantime we'll just get two let's just do two wooden braziers and we'll put those out here somewhere wow they're pretty big um it will light the place up a little bit Let's put one here. Okay, turn it on. Light it up! <laughs> wow, it gives off a lot of light. And how about one over in this area? We'll put it right here on the path. Light it up. Awesome! Oh, those are great. Those are great. I know it's getting late. Hold on. The keg, keg, keg. Let's let's keg it. Let's get the kegger down. I'm going to put it right here. You stop. <laughs> and now all we do is put some kind of berry in it. Oh, but grape, we can make wine, right? Ooh, let's try that. I have no idea how this thing works, other than we dump stump something in it. I don't know if that's actually going to give us wine or grape juice or what, but oh, oh, it smells delicious. Okay, okay, and that's it for now. Chuck the wood in here and the torch over here, and now I'm going to bed. Uh, we'll see you guys in the morning, and I think tomorrow we're going to chop down a lot of wood. So we can make the, uh, the the addition to the home. This house is just getting too small for all my cool stuff inside, like Gonzo and LG Futton, etc. Hey, is the dog sleeping outside tonight? Wilson, you coming in? Well, Wilson? Oh, wow. It's the magical dog after all, right? Okay, let's see what we got for the night, for the day. Let's see. Anything? Nothing. So here endeth the 21st of falleth, year 1th. And we made a pretty penny here selling some artisan goods. And that's about it. So we'll see you guys in the next episode. Hope you enjoyed. Can't wait for my beers. Bye-bye. <laughs>